Well, hello there, it's Mrs. B, and uh, we're gonna now factor tr our trinomials today when the A does not equal to one. So I'm gonna offer two strategies, and you only need to know one. So it's just important for you to know one and to just rock it, okay? So um, I have my preferred, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you my bias in a little bit. So the first th way that we're going to use is, is the most commonly done factoring called the decomposition method. Um, and this one tends, it's pretty easy actually. It just takes a long time, which is why some of you might not want to do it. Um, what we do is uh, instead of doing what multiplies to C and adds to B, we have to multiply the A and the C together to get negative 18. But then we're going to, so we're going to do the same thing as before. So what multiplies to negative 18 and adds to 17? Um, let's see here. Is it going to be 18 times negative 1? I think that works because 18 minus 1 is 17. Now where the decomposition comes in is we're going to decompose the middle term. The first term stays put. The last term stays put. But what's going to happen is we're going to take that middle term and we're going to decompose it into, into um, two terms that combined 17x. Now, I could have done a 10x and a 7x or a 20x and a negative 3x, but none of those are going to work. Only one combination is going to work and it has everything to do with the multiply to adds to table. So that is why we have to go plus 18x minus 1x, or just minus x. Now take a look at what you have here. We have a four-term expression. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factor this by grouping. Remember factoring by grouping? Um, section 3 here, when we had the highlighters and we brought the the binomials to the front. Well, guess what? That's what we're going to do here. We have four terms. So you can do tic-tac-toe method on this or you can factor by grouping. So I'm going to factor by grouping. Um, 6x comes out, x plus 3. Um, this is a negative sign so I'm going to bring out a negative now. There's nothing common so I just bring out a negative 1 and then that just ends up flipping my signs. I know I've done it right because those are the same. Bring the common binomial to the front and whatever isn't highlighted that gets left behind and we are done. You can get pretty fast at these um, and I went pretty fast there I will admit. Would you, Could you please on your own pause the video and I want you to do part B. So the first step is to come over here do your multiply two adds two table so that you know what to break down that middle term into. I'll, I'll get you started. The first term doesn't change. The last term doesn't change. We just need to break this negative 2n into two terms based off of our multiply two add two table. Okay, good luck. Okay, for you tic-tac-toe lovers, I uh, did a tic-tac-toe to get down to this last um, line here. Of course, you're going to check by FOIL to make sure that you did it right. So um, what I'd like you to do is uh, finish C on your own. Either use tic-tac-toe or factor by grouping, but you start it from, from the beginning. I've only I've given you this, which isn't a lot. I didn't even toss you a bone there, but uh, if you're not sure what to do, I want you to rewind this video, go past, go through A again, maybe uh, read some of the steps, um, do what it takes if you can't do C, but give it, give it, give it the old college try. Okay, good luck. Okay, take a look at the work here. Um, oh, I guess I could have filled that in. There we go. Um, and if you got it great. If you're not, uh, uh, again, rewind the video, see what you can do, and uh, if you still have problems tomorrow, just, uh, or tonight, uh, come see me tomorrow. Let's take care of this right away. Or, oh, but wait, there's a second method. 
you could not do this method at all if you don't want to because boom, bah, bah, we got strategy two and you don't need to know both. In fact, when I was in grade 10, my grade 10 teacher only taught us this method. So straight off the bat, this is my favorite method. Um, it is faster, less work, and you know, math is great, but it's even better when it's fast. Um, it's kind of hard to explain why it works, this X method. Uh, your textbook calls it the uh, rational reasoning or deductive reason, the reasoning method. But um, anyway, I, this is the best job I could do to explain why it works. Let's just take a look at this trinomial here. This is the answer that it factors into. Now, what we're going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack these two on top of each other. So the 3x plus 5 that's right there. And the 2x plus 3 is right there. And then I'm going to draw this little x in between them as well, and you'll see why in a moment. But uh, the, the why does this work? Well, let's take a look at where, um, how I can get from, from this combination back to my original answer. So take a look at this column right here. This column right here, this is your f in FOIL. This must multiply to your first term, the 6x squared, f. Now this, these, this column here, this is your L in FOIL. This is your L. Now how do we get the OI in the middle? That's where the crisscross comes from. That's when we multiply 10x and 9x to add together to get this 19x. So when you see the, the X method in, 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 um, in action, uh, it's a little bit easier um, to see why it works or how it works at least. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do to do the X method is draw an X. On the left hand side of the X, I need to find two numbers that multiply to my first two. Um, you could do a 1 and a 10, but it tends not to be the one and the end number. Always start with a middle, like a 5x and a 2x. Uh, it might be 1x and 2x, or 1x and 10x, but tends not to be. Now, um, we're going to break down the 3 on this side. Um, not too many things multiply to 3. Now, the answer could be 3 and 1, or it could be 1 and 3. What we're going to try one at a time. The target number here is 17x. So this is where we're going to do the crisscross. What is uh, 5x times 1? 5x. Okay. What is 2x times 3? 6x. Do those, can we combine those two to get 17x? No, we can't. So it's not those two. So we can cross those out and we can try switching it around. Let's see if the, this one works. Okay, let's do it again. What is 5 times 3? There's 15x. Aha! I think we got it. 2x times 1. 2x. And sure enough, there's our 17x. We found it. So right off the bat, the top two form our first brackets. The bottom two form our second bracket. And we are done. Now, that was pretty fast. Believe it or not, there are shortcuts to this method. Um, watch this. Here's a shortcut. Do an X. When you see perfect squares here and here, always start with the perfect square. Do you need to draw, put the X in here? Eh, you could probably leave it out. Uh, maybe I won't leave it out yet, but that, there's one shortcut. Just don't write the X. You know it's there. And then 1 and 1. Crisscross multiply. What's 3x times 3x? Or 3x plus 3x is 6x. It turns out that when you have perfect squares here and here, it, it almost always is the root of that. So you can get to the final answer right away. And of course, when your answer is the same, we can just lump it together like that, even better. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video now. 
I want you to try the X method on those two. Okay, um, sometimes you don't find it on the first one, but often you find it within the first three tries. Okay, good luck. Okay, hopefully um, you found the winning combinations. Um, for me, I found it on the first one on C, and on D, I had to play around with it because I don't normally start with 8 and 1. But here's where the reasoning comes into play. If you need to get to negative 23, you know, you got to find uh, a multiplier that's pretty high. So um, I fixed that right away. The other thing I need to mention is that when you're adding in negative signs, you always add the signs to the right hand side of, of, of the X, never on the left hand side. We never want to start our binomials in the brackets with negative signs. We always want uh, all of everything in blue here. All of these should always be positive no matter what. We always start with those with positives. So we add our negatives to the right only to, to ensure that that is the case. Okay, hopefully um, one of those two methods uh, work for you. Uh, this, for sure, this method is faster. Uh, if you can, if you can practice this one, you will not regret it. If you're going into math uh, or physics or anything beyond grade 10 math, uh, this is, this is the bomb. Um, highly recommended. Good luck and happy mathing!